Maayong gabi kaninyong tanan. Good evening. And our greetings for a happy and glorious celebration of our Philippine centennial. I am your regular host, Mary Rose Villacastin, and it is my privilege to introduce for this very special occasion my co-host, Mr. Bunny Pajes. Good evening. Tonight, on the eve of the centenary of our Philippine independence, let us relive the martyrdom and the glory of our heroes in their pursuit of the freedom which our country enjoys today. We now welcome the Cebu Centennial Community Choir from the combined voices of Cebu schools, parishes, and communities. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Cebu's national and international pride and Cebu's ambassadors of goodwill, the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra. And now, to give the opening remarks for tonight's concert, is the president of the Salvador and Pilar Sala Foundation, Incorporated. Please welcome Ms. Susan Montenegro Sala. Fellow Cebuanos, friends, and visiting guests from our islands and other lands, in behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Salvador and Pilar Sala Foundation and our principal partner for this event, the Waterfront Cebu City Hotel. It is my distinct honor to welcome you all tonight to Bayan Ko Pagsikat ng Araw, the Grand Centennial Concert of the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra in celebration of the momentous Philippine Centennial of 1998. For this occasion, our young musicians are joined by international music friends from Japan, the Netherlands, and Korea, thus giving this celebration a perspective of international peace and goodwill, as well as understanding and cooperation. Fresh from their intensive fifth annual summer music camp, in April and May of this year, and with the heroic sacrifice of our young musicians in preparing for this con concert of a lifetime, we can all hopefully look forward to an evening of the best in Philippine music as performed by the only youth symphony orchestra in the world with a Mark yearly season concert. In closing, we would like to welcome you again to the centennial concert gift of our young musicians in the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra to Cebu, to the Visayas, and to the Philippines. Thank you and good evening. Cebu, the cradle of our national freedom, started way back Magellan's arrival in 1521, when the Spanish forces lost out to Lapu-Lapu in the famous Battle of Mactan. As the nation celebrates the centenary of the 1898 Declaration of Philippine Independence, let us all remember the heroic participation of Cebu's revolutionary heroes, such as General Maximum, and the most prominent and legendary Cebu hero, General Pantaleon Villegas, who carried the nom de guerre Leon Quilat, or Lion Lightning. Leon Quilat is today honored with an appropriate monument in Karkar. He was the military leader in the outbreak of hostilities during the famous Battle of Tres de Abril here in Cebu City. He became a legend as a Tagolilong, or one who could disappear and appear at will and who could also swallow knives, bladed weapons, as though they were wax, and fly on a magic handkerchief. <coughs> Such was the legend. 
In spite of its being a legend, however, the heroic stance of Cebuanos from Lapu-Lapu to the Katipuneros and numerous Cebuano leaders continued during the subsequent American period, during the Japanese war and through the post-war years of independence from the Americans on July 4, 1946. Our history is one of a continuing struggle in truly being a free nation. In spite of many obstacles, we continue to grow and today, as we celebrate the centennial of our independence from Spain, let us reflect on the values that have united us as a nation and with a view to instill them in our youth as we move forward to the 21st century. And for this, we have firstly the Almighty to thank for our gain freedom and maturity as a nation. And let us express this spiritual appreciation as CYSO Concertmaster Mark Hamlet Mercado at the violin and Cebu Guitar Society President Joel Oporto at the guitar perform Amahan Namu, or Our Father, as composed by Monsignor Rudy Villanueva. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the music of the Lord's Prayer. Afterwards, please remain standing for the entry of the revolutionary flags and the singing of the Philippine National Anthem with the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra and the Centennial Cebu Community Choir with Professor Rodelio Flores at the baton. Thank you. 
Our forebears were totally free before the Spanish conquerors set foot in our land. They had a civilization of their own and traditions which became part of everyday life. Their culture conveys a feeling that has an affinity to the East, that it emanates from the rich cultural tradition of the neighboring countries in Asia. Such a culture and traditions express total oneness with the environment and music like the other arts was part of their life from the north let us listen to the music whose themes have an inherent beauty which imparts a truly distinctive aura of the philippines to the composition thus reflecting a native culture that clearly identifies our people such as you would find in Angel Peña's Igorot Rhapsody.
Adios, patria adorada, región del sol querida, perla del mar del oriente, nuestro perdido Edén. A darte voy alegre la triste y mustia vida, si fuera más brillante, más fresca, más florida. También por ti la diera, la diera 
por tu bien. En campos de batalla, luchando con delirio, otros te dan sus vidas sin dudas, sin pesar. El sitio nada importa, ciprés, laurel o lirio, cadalso o campo abierto, combate o cruel martirio. Lo mismo y si lo piden. Simon, hain ba ang kabataan nga linghod ba ang pangisipan? Unta, sila karon ana sa mga tuluhan. May igo ng kusog kining maong kabataan. Busog ug tugob ang ilang alipatagan. Ug sila angay mangulo sa atong katilingban. Buag kagabagtamgo higon ni Ana Ipara. Kay ang mga bataan on nga imong giingon nga busok ug tugub ug alipatakan 
karon gihamok o gisamok sa drogas nga tinawan. Lunsay man nga pangisip, mahimong kapayran, hay luon sa bakatidtal nga kaligawan. Simon, may paglaom ang nasul samtang adunay kabataan, o mahimong ligon o tikson ang linghod nga punuan. Maoy ilang giya ang ilang mga ginikanan. Busa, Simon, ayaw isalindot ang atong kabataan. Kay iniining nagkatunyagi tang nasun, sila ang kaluwasan. Maninguha sila, mutungha, mulampus o dili na magpaulipon. Dili na magpaulipon hangtod sa kahangturan. Hangtod sa kahangturan, ipara, pasagdan ko ikaw nga magdam ko. Pagdam ko. Pagdam ko. Bisan ikaw ug nagmata, ibara, hala, pagdam ko. Kaya ang pagdam ko, bisag nagmata, maoy mugna sa talawan nga ganamhanan. Diente y vivo anhelo. Salud, te grita el alma que pronto va a partir. Salud, ah, que es hermoso caer por darte vuelo, morir por darte vida, morir bajo tu cielo y en tu encantada tierra la eternidad dormir. Si sobre mi sepulcro brotar vieres un día, entre la espesa hierba sin filia humilde flor, acércala a tus labios y besa el alma mía. Y sienta yo en mi frente, bajo la tumba fría, de tu ternura el soplo, de tu alito el calor. Na aking hinihintay 
aking pagdating Sa iyong damang inulila ng ina Sa iyong damang inulila ng ina Hindi ako magtatagal at lalong hindi ako hihingalay upang sumabiyo ng pagsintong nektar pagkat ikaw ay dahalang dapat maari na ang pangalaman Salamat sa binuksang lugod Upang pigilin ang aking Ang aking nagalag Ngunit yay di ko mayaka Naganag Pagkat kay dami pa Sobre mi cruz o oh nave Deja que el ave entone Su cántico de paz Deja que el sol ardiente 
las lluvias y vapores y al cielo tornen puras con mi clamor en pos. Deja que un ser amigo mi fin temprano llore y en las serenas tardes cuando por mí alguien ore ora también oh patria por mi descanso adiós por todos cuantos murieron sin ventura por cuantos padecieron tormentos sin igual por nuestras pobres madres que lloran su amargura por huérfanos y viudas por presos en tortura y por qué pronto veas tu redención final se envuelve al cementerio y solo restos ciertos queden velando allí no turbes el reposo no turbes el vestido pero si tú acordes hoy es Virgitra o cementerio soy yo que la patria yo que te canto a ti y cuando ya me tumba de todos olvidara no tenga cruz ni piedra que marque su lugar, deja que la haré el hombre, la esparza con la jara, que todas mis cenizas se vuelven a la araña y en polvo de tu alfombra se vayan a formar. Entonces, nada importa a mí, pongas en olvido, tú a tu espada, a tus campos, tus valles, tu daré, vibrante limpia nota se ve para tu huido aroma luz flores rumos canto y miro constante repitiendo la esencia de mi fe nasud nga maiso Ug mapungtanon sa gubat dili na magpapugong sa pakigpiso dili na magpapakgang kay bisan tiyabaw sa mga dinaugdaog 
mabati sa kinasukang lasang. Elias, sa gubat uwa ang kadungganan. Uguay gubat ganilibayran sa mga saad o bulawan. Sa tumang kahugot, ugi ang inyong mga armas. Ug kalimti una ang inyong mga minahal, Elias. Kay ni Anang Pagiha, ang nasod ug ang katauhan maluwag. Ang tanan adunay pili o kantidad. Ug ang katauhan matagbaw sa katumanan sa mga saad. Apan pisan ang labing suod mong higala. Mahimong luiban kung mauna itugpang ang sapi o bulawan. Sama ka ni mo, Elias, talawan o guway baruganan. Simon, ang mga pulong gikan sa akong dugan, haw ang o guway kahulugan. Apan ikaw, akong hagitun, kanamo ikaw angay ng muipo. Mga buang ka mo! Mga buang ka mo! Ang inyong huna-huna uwa na magkalimao. Ang gitaw ko ninyong kagawasan, dili yung dili maangkon. Ang inyong ideolohiya sa'yo, ang dili magbalampusun. Kagul sa akong kagulanan, hinigugmang Pilipinas, dungga ang katapusan kong panamilit. Ani ay bilin ko ang tanan, ang akong mga gugma, akong ginikanan. At tun ako, din way ulipon, way magsakit, way manlupig, din ang pagtuudilin mo patay, ang Diyos kay maghari o hintig. At doon ako, ipak sa kalag ko, mga iksuon ang ginikanan, mga higala sa pagkabata, sa nausin ang kuyanan. Pasalamat ka mo, nga ko, magkapahuay sa agyaw ang mga. At doon ako, kalingaw ang tamis, akong higala, akong kalipay. At doon ako, mga kaigsuunan, ang pagkamatay, maoy pagpahulay. Pray pa rin! Apuntin! Fuego!
to our family and to ourselves as today's citizens who have the responsibility to instill in our children the values of freedom so that in the next celebration of the centennial in 2098 yes we will be gone by then but our future children will not only be better citizens of our nation but of the world ladies and gentlemen the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra with Professor Flores conducting Bayan Ko. Mabuhay ang Cebu! Mabuhay ang Cebuano! Mabuhay ang Filipino! Mabuhay ang ating bayan! Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats for the closing statement of the chairman of the Salvador and Pilar Sala Foundation, Ms. Ingrid Sala Santa Maria. Cebu Governor and Mrs. Pablo Garcia, Cebu City Mayor Alvin Garcia, and other Cebu government officials, Mr. and Mrs. Chua Mayu, beloved friends from Cebu, the Philippines, 
and other lands, good evening. After such an awe-inspiring, rousing, and patriotic performance as we have just experienced, made possible by innumerable entities, friends, benefactors, and supporters, in behalf of the Waterfront Cebu City Hotel, the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports, the combined choirs of Cebu, schools, parishes, and communities, the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra, all the soloists and special participants, and the Salvador and Pilar Sala Foundation, it is my honor and privilege to thank you one and all for your gracious and valued presence here tonight. Only once in a hundred years will a day such as this one ever come again. We are truly grateful that circumstances have permitted us to be together on this momentous occasion tonight, to feel one in spirit, to reminisce, safeguard, and enjoy through glorious music what our national heroes fought for 100 years ago, and to prepare to make our own contributions for the next generations. Please allow me to salute once more all our performing artists tonight by asking a final round of applause for them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. And last but not least, your very presence here tonight reaffirms our concerted efforts towards the attainment of mutual goals that will engender global goodwill, making boundaries disappear, destinies cross, and aspirations intermingle. In closing, may I again express, in behalf of all of us here present tonight, our utmost gratitude to Mr. and Mrs. Chua Mayu of Waterfront Cebu City Hotel for making tonight's centennial concert possible in this magnificent venue. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Chua Mayu. Also, may I express our gratitude in behalf of all of us present here tonight, our utmost appreciation to all our Philippine and Japanese television networks who are making it possible for this performance to be shared with our whole country and the world as Cebu's gift in celebration of our independence centennial. Thank you to all our television, Philippine and Japanese networks. They are all present here, they are all around us. And lastly, Mr. Chua, may we invite you to say a few words of greeting to our distinguished visitors tonight. Mr. Chua Mayu. The Mayor, fellow friends, fellow Philip uh, Sibono, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to celebrate Centennial Celebration with all of you tonight. For the next few days, we have many programs over in Waterfront. So I hope that you will enjoy this holiday season. English effort in bringing CYSO, CYSO and making the target of year 2000, Cebu should have its own symphony.
Water fun will not hesitate in joining her in making such effort. So, we will make this menu available to CYSO anytime, any day. Besides that, CICC is for all of you. We have grand volume bigger than PICC in Manila. Bank Creek can accommodate 2,000. For Symphony, like this type of event, you can accommodate up to 3,000. We have two exhibition halls. We have nine function rooms, various sizes, for function meeting. We have 1,000 cover car park. So make this menu is very convenient. Waterfront will not hesitate to make the effort together with Cebu City and all the Simuano, as well as Visaya, in promoting music, culture, and to bring sound and music to the world. And hope year by year, we are looking forward that Cebu will be known worldwide. Thanks once again for joining me in this celebration and hope to see you again. Thank you. I think we are all together in expressing our sentiments of gratitude to you for being a very strategic partner, not only for CYSO, not only for Cebu, and in fact, I think for the whole Philippines. Thank you very much. And to all of you who are here with us tonight, thank you, thank you, thank you.